Today I'm going to talk to you about the Price Momentum Oscillator, or the PMO. It uh, specifically was developed by Decision Point, uh, Carl Swenlin, my father, and I helped him just a little bit with the math, uh, came up with this, and really it, it's, it's different from the MACD, and it is different from the PPO, which most people are familiar with. Uh, we found that when we developed it, that it was uh, more successful, in our opinion. And so I want to show you how it works. Uh, you can also go to Chart School and learn more about how it was developed and the math that is behind it. So let's go ahead and we're going to look at the screen right now. And I have a chart of Kimberly Clark. And the price, of course, is on the top with uh, my moving averages that I usually use. And then we have the PMO on the bottom. Now, the PMO is a momentum indicator, as it makes sense and says that it is. Uh, and so it measures, actually it measures acceleration, uh, not only just which direction the momentum is going in, but, uh, and let me explain that to you. So what I have here on the left side of the chart is a very overbought PMO. And it's really giving you warning as soon as it starts to turn over. And then, of course, the crossovers are very important. But that gives you an idea that momentum is starting to fade. Now, the beautiful thing about the PMO, and honestly about most momentum indicators, is that they are uh, leading indicators rather than lagging indicators, like a moving average. And so you can watch the direction of where it's going and be able to uh, really decipher what might be going on with price under the surface that you should know. It helps you to figure out when to get in and when to get out. So over here, like I said, we've got an overbought PMO. It had just turned over. And you can see price was starting to turn over, but not really. And once the PMO started to pick up a little bit of uh, momentum on its own, and then it got the crossover, it really warned us that something under the surface wasn't quite right, and especially because it was an overbought PMO. So you can see that the PMO starts to fall, of course. Price doesn't really fall at the same time. So that's telling you something right there, that you've got uh, a divergence, as we call it. So momentum is starting to fade, but price is starting to rise, and that should be your hint that there's something under the surface that you need to pay attention to. And so you can see the PMO drops and gets into that oversold territory. But when does it tell us to get back in? That was when we would get out. Uh, when do we get back in? Well, of course, the PMO, you can see it twitched a little bit on the way down. But when it finally hit that oversold uh, sweet spot, you can see how it started to turn up. Price hadn't really done much at that point. You can see that it's kind of a flat bottom on that PMO. And it's just starting to come up. Of course, you get the buy signal in here. But just by watching the direction of the PMO, it already gave you a hint that something good might be happening. So in this case, so what happened before this big decline? Well, we can see that the PMO is also giving you warning. The tops on the PMO were starting to fall, but the tops on price were about even. So that's telling you that despite price being a little bit higher, there's something going on again under the surface with the momentum. And so certainly that's what we ended up seeing, that we got that second top on the PMO, which was much lower than that first one. And then we ended up getting that big decline. Now, what is going on over here? The PMO seems pretty flat and un uninteresting. Well, like I said, it measures acceleration. So the PMO will flatten not just if price is moving sideways, but if it's accelerating at a steady rate, like when you put your foot on the accelerator and you just sit it there, you're not going to be accelerating anymore because your acceleration level is the same. And so that's what happens with the PMO when it flattens out like that. Once it came out of that flat, <laughs> that flat area and it started to turn and pick up again, that was your hint to get back in. And of course, leading indicator, it started to top back here and all of a sudden price did begin to turn over. So that's the price momentum oscillator. Uh, like I said, I think it's a little bit better than the other momentum oscillators. And uh, if you want to read more about it, like I said, go to Chart School and you can learn more about the PMO and how it works.